Hey guys, welcome back to Survival Records, where I am doing some some scrapping. I wonder if that's a solar panel on this billboard down here against the ground. Let's uh, let's turn on my thruster to stabilize. I think it might be a solar panel. Well, if it is, that'd be a great thing to add to the... to the base. Yeah, pretty sure it's a solar panel. Oh, and we've got two and a half kilometers that direction. Now, one thing I definitely will have going for me here that I wouldn't normally have in a scrapyard scenario is I can go and buy pieces that I need. Hmm. Inventory full. It didn't fall to the ground. Let me check something on that real quick. Okay, it took a little bit longer than I expected to, and I uh, failed to hit the record button because I was frantically avoiding spiders, and uh, I have to take my hand off the mouse to hit the record button. But, I have the solar panel, and... Uh, yeah, you might not see much ahead of me, because there's a dang sandstorm again. Alright, let's get it. Ooh, maybe I can get above the sandstorm. That's better. At least I've got enough lift to carry this thing properly. Alright, I'm gonna go... Oh, and as you see, I have been stripping down quite a lot from the, uh, from the head of the thing. Uh, from the, the, the flyer here. Alright. I will, uh... Get it in nice and slow. Let's see about getting this installed. Nice and slow. All right, well, I took the time while that storm was brewing and flowing to close off the interior here. It's, uh, it's nice not having these things chase after me. You'd think they'd be able to climb, but apparently, apparently they're not. I grabbed one of these, brought it up here. Uh, I think I might replace the backward thruster with it, just because I want that to be more... Forward, stronger, better, faster. I need to make my way to the uh, to the tra trade station. Grab some solar panels. Hopefully, uh, I don't know how much they're going to cost, but you know, it uh, it's a start. Um, I've gone ahead and claimed this. Hopefully, it isn't an issue. Although I suppose I should just go to this and suspend the trash removal. All right, let's go check out the trade station. All right. Goodness, that was a noise. Ooh, well, uh, unfortunately, I don't see solar panels in here right now. That's a uh, that's 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 no good. I guess I'll have to go do some scrapping instead. 
Where was that? Here. This was the bedroom that I found that had the grinder and the welder in it. Let me grab them while I'm at it. All right. Checking this out on the way back to the base. And I see some appealing looking structures there. Yeah, that is what I was hoping it would be. Alright, we've got a solar tower. Or not solar tower, a wind tower. And... Was that it? Eef, yeah, looks like it is. All right, um... How do I want to approach this? I want to be able to stand on my roof. Come on. There we go. Now... Now, let's go over here and work on dropping this wind turbine. Not close enough. Alright. Uh, by the way, I have discovered something. Bullets do nothing. I don't... I don't know. Oh, hey, there we go. Really tight hitbox. And then more of them show up. Okay. Let's see about dropping this down straight down. Okay, um, got a full inventory. Uh, what's the best way to do this? Probably to pick it up from above. Yeah, let's grab a hold of it with the front thruster, uh, landing pad, not thruster. Yeah, there we go. Alright, 
No. I just need to hopefully not let it, you know, get burned up and damaged. That would be bad. That would be really sad. Really frustrating. I'll see you over there. Alright. Here we go. And considering my inventory is full of interior plate, let's um let's see what this looks like. Now that I can kind of more cleanly control where I am pointing. Sheesh, even, even the littlest bit of forward thrust. Yeah, come on. I want you on. Oh, yeah, that was why I stopped. This just doesn't work very well. Alright, let's get a better thruster on the front. Cause yeah, I'm still in a in a in a unpleasant way with maneuvering. Ugh, and another dang sandstorm. Alright, this should should help do it for sure. Perfect. Now I can, I mean, now if nothing else, I can maneuver around a little bit more confidently. Uh, I guess while I'm here, I could do this. Yeah, like exactly this. Get this rear thruster pointing Pointing rearward. These little flat thrusters do so little, it's kind of silly. No, no. Come on. There we go. Hmm, it's pointing the wrong way. Anyway. I definitely am in need of a full redesign, I think. Oh, and now they're back. I don't I don't know why, but the spiders were gone for a little bit. And I have got some blocks in my inventory. And I've got some in there, so let's let's do this. Oh look, I can I can hover and point down a little bit better. All right, Control G. Do I want to snap? Yeah, I want to snap to that. You know what, uh, let's have it come out in this direction. So these are just serving as a temporary connection, but I'm gonna have it I'll eventually run a line of concrete 
blocks like this. Yes, this is perfect. This is working. Okay. Now I want these blocks, but I'll use the full size. Because the pillar at the top is gonna need it. All right. And doo -doo -doo, let's get logistical. Just because that looks like a nice, because it's following along with the roundness. And we can put these on like this. Though I think I'll probably put the top one in there first. Oh, this is so much nicer. I'm glad I found those thrusters right away. All right, now I want to grab this. Plop it there. And I will go back down and land and make sure that I'm landing on my roof. I don't know why this is still registering as an enemy grid. I have. Trying to fix that. Good thing I did. Okay. Finish the spiders. Do I have it? Uh, let's put that there. Alright, well now that I'm going to have a rechargeable source of power, the first thing I need to do is rebuild this wind tower. Because I am not going to abide having it be a um, shiny metal frame. I want to I wanna actually have it built properly. Oh, there's a spider inside. Well, I did figure out I could kill them with the gun. I just have to aim really well. So, I just need to get... Thruster. Up. Like this. Let's get it. In. Mm, 
this is sketchy. Um, oh, I know. I can latch on with the other foot. Maybe the back foot. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's it's a static grid now, you know. Okay, well, this is silly. Let's, uh... Da, da, da. I'm gonna go ahead and... Claim this. Yep, that's, that's like that. And now... How do I get down there? I've got this line I started. I guess I could do this. Yeah. Oh, I need more blocks. Okay. And now that I'm over here, yeah, just like that. This is, uh, not as, not as comfortable to do unless, uh, it's not, it's not Minecraft, you can't just crouch. Alright, look at this, we are good. We are gonna get this up and attached, and that will be a source of power recharging the base. Uh, let's grab some health while I'm here. Shame that we didn't have those solar panels to uh, to purchase for this, but that can always be. We can go back and check later on. All right, now that's done. Can I get up to there? I can. I did. Okay. Hmm, now this is potentially a problem. Oh, that's the one right there. You can see it's lighting up green. I really like that feature. Uh, let's go with that and unlock. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Okay. I am sitting on my side. Let's try and rotate around. Come on, the gyro. Did this earlier. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Come on, come on. Uh, control G, let's turn off the auto lock. I thought I turned off auto lock. What is, what is going on here? I'm unlocked. Unlock. Can't... 
Auto lock is supposed to be off. I have been having issues with this. Auto lock is off. You turn off use for parking. Dampeners. Unlock. Okay. Ooh, that... Could have been worse. I could have... Uh, definitely didn't want to have to hit the tower. Alright. Well, let's see about grabbing the wind turbine. It fell on the ground and is tipped over slightly. Okay. Auto lock is now back on. Got it. Okay, there is no way I'm going to tip this upright using this vehicle. I think I'm going to have to figure something out. Well, I think what I figured out is I could maybe just drop it right here and it'll land properly. Oh, I turned off the auto park. Oh, look at that. Oh, come on. Yep. Rotate back. Rotate back. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> that was good. Good. Get up. Hmm. I don't know that that's the group. Alright, well, I do have the... I do have it. Alright. Let's... Let's attach and... be done with this project. Positioned my camera near a And there it is. Oh, that's exciting. Okay. Cool. And uh, let's 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 top off the battery now that we're now that we're charging again. All right. Let me get in here like this. Oh, speaking of the batteries, let me show you something that I'm th pretty sure I identified as as a thing. Uh, let's go with 5, 4, and Z. And drop out of this. Okay. 
So if I if I drop off my improved grinder and I grab this regular grinder here. I am at grinder speed realistic. Okay. Presumably this one was stuck in here. Lots of computers getting lots and lots of computers from these things. Alright, uh, the battery here. At grinder speed realistic, I grind it so slowly that I can grind out the computers uh, without hitting the power cells. It's, it's pretty cool. But it takes a minute to get there. Okay, I think... I think this is it. Yeah, ooh, there we go. No computers left, which means I can transfer the ownership to me. Yeah, transfer the ownership to me without it being uh, an issue. Now, this interior turret. I don't, I, it's not in a great spot here anyway, so let's just see, does it have any ammo? It does have some ammo. Actually, it's got ammo for the gun that I'm using. Uh, speaking of gun I'm using, I shot the floor here because I was shooting the thing. Well, health my health is low. I I'm I'm in a much happier place now than I was not too long ago. We've got power charging up from that. Of course, I'm draining the the big battery by you know sucking out on the little battery here. So I mean, that makes a little bit of sense that it's not working proper. I think I think the thing I need to do is reassess what the flyer looks like. I think I need to drop my survival kit. Probably very heavy. Although realistically that's not a whole huge number of components. The O2H2 generator I could probably get rid of. Another teal unknown signal. Oh, see, they screamed and left. I think... I think they might all died again. Maybe they, like, uh... They can't abide by the low amounts of oxygen in the atmosphere still. So much like... The lack of oxygen is killing me. The, the slight presence of oxygen is killing them. Ooh, you know what it means? I should probably take advantage of them being gone to actually put a block in here that I want to have in here. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a, a concrete block. They're running out and to the base here. Help low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Lots of back and forth with this still. So I've been busy with getting the uh, the ship or ship the drop pod more maneuverable. I've attached the three thrusters that I've got that I found on the jalopy. I'm out here looking for more scrap when I noticed something on the horizon. Uh, right where my cursor is pointing, you can kind of see it. And it's awful special because it's not a scrapyard piece. Hey, there we go. It's an unknown logistics post. 
So, I have no real idea what to expect here. The the unknown faction is um. It's it it's it's nothing. Space is vast. As humans push into the void of space, sometimes the void pushes back. Danger, mystery, or reward may lie ahead. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna like turn red. If it does, I guess what I ought to do is run back to the uh, the safe zone. So I'd better have the safe zone up. It's over that way. There it is. Yeah, 11 kilometers away. Uh, move to uh, move things around. Obviously, um, got rid of nearly every bit of armor. Uh, hopefully, this is not uh, going to shoot at me. Oh, there we go. Uh, just under two point five. It's saying it's white. Saying it's uh, it's not hostile. There's at least two grids there. Oh, and a logistics drone. What's... What's it doing? It appears to be coming toward me. Like, I don't have any guns. Why, why is it coming at me? got here. It doesn't appear to have any guns on it. I think. <laughs> What's it doing? If I grabbed onto it, what would happen then? I think I've got it. Huh. Okay. I am descending. I'm pushing down with it right now, on it right now. If I can get it to the ground... I don't know. This is... potentially dangerous. I'm getting a good look at it, at least. We've got big batteries. It's got a, a spotlight on there. Hey, stop that. And yep, I want to keep looking at it from this angle. It's got a spotlight, it's got a cargo container. It's... maybe it's gonna run out its battery if it keeps fighting me like this. Like, I've got 50 minutes? What happens if I just do this? I could just sit here for five hours while it drains its battery. What am I looking at here? Above? Is that a... that's a... 
uh, hatch with a... I think those are batteries underneath there. Just underneath where I am sitting. Gosh, if it... If I knew for sure that I was attached to it, uh, or if I had gotten in uh, to my ship from above, I might... might hop out. But I don't know. I'm trying to control it just enough to not let it, like, smash into anything in the ground. I'm afraid that if I hop out, it will fly off if, since I'm no longer controlling mine. wonder if I could maybe get it wedged into the rocks up there. Oh, it uh, dropped something. I lost a foot, but nothing else. It's got other bits damaged. And I think its battery is damaged as well. Oh, gosh dang it, the spiders. All right. Is it? It's not still flying, is it? I don't think so. I'm going to try and grab that with my other foot and then bring this stuff back to base. Can I get it? Oof, it's slow going, but I think I can do it. All right, I'm going to head back to the hangar. This is delicate, but then I'm going to come back here and check out the, the other spot. Uh, maybe after I recharge. Actually, I'll show you. I'll we'll take a look at this when I get back. See what it all is. Yeah, real, real slow. Oh, I might have to. I should might need to make two trips. But man, look at all though what I got on the drone body. All right, uh, slash GPS, uh, post. All right. Slow going. Ooh, OK. 
Okay. Really slow going. Oh, come on, don't start snow sandstorming. I always said with snowstorm. Please don't start sandstorming. Just as I'm getting back. This thing is as wonky as all get out. It, it's I can't let go of the mouse. Let's uh let's start slowing down now. Ugh. Ooh, doing that, doing that makes me drop, doing that makes me drop. Oh, dang it. Well, that was the container. So much for that. Although it looks like... Looks like it dropped its inventory. Uh, nickel, iron, and some things. Okay. Jeez, no wonder it was so hard. Hopefully I can get this done before the spiders come back. Don't know why I'm grabbing the nickel ore. Anything, graph, uh, merge block, that, dang. Well, all that's gonna be real appealing. And there's the spiders. Well, a second container would have been nice, but those are a little easier to find, I think. Let's let's get this drone up there with its large thrusters. Ooh, those are going to be nice. I dropped them off a little higher than I needed to. Considering that's right in the way of where I need to be, why don't I move it again? Um, over here. Let's let's put it on top of this. Although I could actually put it inside. That's one of the things I spent a lot of that time doing while it was nighttime and dark. I ground up the entirety of the jalopy, got rid of a lot of this excess stuff. So let's park up. charge up and two, five okay let's uh let's get the charge actually charging more unknown signals, yeah? Or did the unidentified signal move? I've been noticing that that happens from time to time as well. The unidentified signal, the factorum encounter will move. Oh, there's, there's the spiders. All right, what is this? So, I was right, it's a battery. Oh goodness, look at the battery, it's nearly completely destroyed. We've got good thrusters, 
thruster components. Uh, uh, those are AI components. That's a broadcast controller. There's a gyroscope. So I need to claim this. And funnily enough, with... I think it should be pretty straightforward to claim. Right? Because I just need to get a, one of these on there. Oh, I need the bits. Here's a... I, I found three power cells, uh, and I can potentially buy more power cells as well. Alright, let's claim this grid, just so it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, those... Uh, those 20 power cells that are damaged definitely gonna need to be uh, replaced. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and um, charge up the battery here, this one, and then head back to that uh, salvage post, was it called? Something post. All right, battery is charged. Let's make sure we enter the cockpit from above. And four, five, Z, P, up. Let's go check this place out, this thing out. Let's get there as fast as we can. Saving as much battery as we can, of course. All right, coming in on the logistics post. Uh, that's probably whatever chunk of the drone that fell off when I came in earlier. The, the post itself is on the other side of that ridge. So what is this? It's... Oh, it's the spotlight that was on the nose. Alright, don't need to worry about that. What have we got here? Oh, hey, uh, there's a large air wind turbine. Nice, nice. Everything's... Everything's all kinds of rusty. Huh. I'm thinking this is an abandoned site as well. So it's under a little bit more care than the previous place, the, than the rest of the, the scrapyard spots. Probably because that drone was doing a little bit of maintaining. Nice. We've got a couple of welders. Those are going to be good in case I lose what I've got uh, when I die. Uh, we've got some timer blocks and a big old battery in there. Imagine that that probably connects through. Uh, I'm loving that it's built up on a platform as well. I keep away from those spiders. 
So let's uh, let's see what we got here. Again, everything was everything was white. No uh, non-hostiles. Oh. Oh goodness, look at that. I've got a pressurized environment. Oh boy. Got some iron. A ton of computers. Oh, look at all those metal grids. That's great. Hmm. Not much going on here, but I'll probably check out what we've got in the database here. So, it is an air vent, battery, a compact antenna, console module, that's what I'm on right here, corner couch, a new narrow corridor, narrow storage access, corridor, narrow stowage, half bed, inset kitchen, inset light, narrow door, O2 tanks, a round beacon, timer blocks, a toilet, and a twin blade turbine. This is huge. This is amazingly good. This whole thing. Gosh, just being able to pressurize, my, you know, have something that I can pressurize. This. All right. Um, hey, and there's even some coffee left over. Oh, ton of motors, some bulletproof glass, girders. The... Oh, there's a book in the bed. Intercepted transmission. Dear Representative Colfax, I want to address your frustration with the cooperative's refusal to ban Prototech. As one of the many votes against your proposal, I can offer some insight. It's not that we disagree with the points you raised. You were right to say Prototech can't be trusted, and it is poor policy to rely on the unreliable. However, what is the alternative? To refuse to use technology that the Factorum happily employs? You cannot get the air back in the airlock, so to speak. This technology is out there. To pretend otherwise, like your proposal in the cooperative would have us do, is the greater risk. If you want to live by ideals, go join the hippies in Astronauts Without Borders. We have a government to run. Well, that's, uh... That's interesting. I'm wondering if this fella decided to try and come out here to live and... Uh, didn't, uh, didn't make it. Well, I'm, uh, I, I, I am quite pleased with this. Double large batteries. We've got a landing pad up away from the spiders. Kind of in a bit of the valley with the green stuff here, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll move this back to the other spot. Or maybe I'll move the other spot back here. Maybe I'll move them one bit at a time. We'll see. I, I don't know. It's, it's a decent choice to make. Things to ponder. Well, anyway, um, why don't I grab some of these motors? Oh, those are over here. That's why. Let's grab some of those motors so that I can repair those thrusters on that drone. And I can use the drone to better off my... Uh, my ship here. Um, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. First things first. I'm claiming this grid. 
for darn sure. I do not want it despawning. Yeah. And then, what do I need to do to claim it? Actually, to claim a block on it. Let me claim this Inventory full. Inventory first. Full. Although it didn't actually have any computers in it. So it was basically just a chair. What out here would have computers in it? Um, uh, no, no. Help below. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thanks. Uh, that's what I'm gonna. I gotta kind of get something better. But anyway, we got wind blowing. Uh, these guys are dying. That needs to get put on a better pole. I'm going to go back to the station and see if I can buy some some uh, energy cells or some, maybe some solar cells. Either one of those would be the next thing. Alright. Oh, um... Maybe... I can... Which one of these is the one that keeps... Let's get. A, I'm gonna claim both of these quick. Hey now, power cells for sale. Of course, I only can buy a few of them right now. All right, I gotta figure some things out. I could only buy uh, what was it? Uh, five of them. Yeah. So I'm gonna do some quick uh, last known location contracts. That should net me a good hundred k. And then that will be enough to buy uh, enough to make a second battery, which two batteries should make any flying ship on this planet uh, last a little bit longer. Yeah, being able to do this in uh, with a cockpit that can lock onto the grid makes it trivially easy. But, you know what? It still involves me having to do it. I'm down to a 60% battery from having had done this. So, you know, um... Oh, I'm gonna keep doing it. I've also had plenty of uh, scrap markers pop in. I've flown by a few of them that didn't look too interesting. Like, I think I saw another billboard. I think I saw another <laughs> rusted out hulk of a vehicle. Check that one out a little bit more and it wasn't nothing to be uh, nothing to be too excited about. But anyway, let's, uh, let's keep at it. Uh, I will hopefully find something game changing I mean the logistics post is definitely game changing oh uh, that's what I found over in that general direction there's an ice lake didn't even realize just on the other side of that hill so yeah uh, yeah nope oh, there's a scrap beacon over that way let's head back to the station let's get as many uh, power cells as 110,000 credits will buy. And then I'm gonna cut the recording for the, uh, for today because it's, you know, close to an hour length. I gotta upload these in reasonable periods of time. And when I, uh, see you guys next, I will be working on getting the drone parts and the drop pod parts combined into a single flyer that is not uh, half-assed or, or oblong or whatever. All right. Well, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Survival Records, and I hope you'll join me for the next one. Until then... 
Thanks for watching.